Alrighty guys, what is up it is your boy Love No Thoughts, this is my third battle in the Poke Raids Gym Challenge. So I am up against Leader Vaughn right now, this is going to be a singles 6v6 format battle. This team will be utilizing a pivot method where you have defenses mixed with screens and a little bit of offense from Grassy Glide, Priority, Rillaboom, as well as Speed Boost, Swords Dance, Scolipede. Alright, so he has a lot of threats on his team. Um, I would like to lead off with the Clef Key to help set up on things. And then from there we can kind of begin wearing down at his team hopefully he does not have defog on noivern so ludicolo lead Alright. Let's begin off by setting a light screen. He's probably going to want to either Max Geyser or Rain Dance to set up the rain. That's mostly what Ludicolos do. Probably running a Life Orb or Damp Rock. Gastrodon does have Storm Drain though. Um, Ludicolo can run things like Giga Drain and Energy Ball. So I'm not going to be using Gastrodon in this matchup. Even though it feels like it could be ideal, I don't think I'm going to push for that. I might even go for Rillaboom just to take the um, the water attack and then just U-turn on out of there. But I can also just stick it with Ferrothorn and I should be okay. So I'm going to go into Ferrothorn here, anticipating the water attack. Both of his stabs are resisted. Let's see who he goes into over here. He brings in Rillaboom. Okay, so that'll be okay for me. I do lose a turn, but it allows me to set up, so... Might not be too horrible. I'm gonna go for the Toxic here. Don't wanna go for Toxic or Rocks. So I'm gonna go for Toxic and start wearing this down, actually. Rillaboom isn't the nicest matchup for this. He goes for the knock. He's gonna knock off my lefties, but I do have um, leech seed, so I will still have a little bit of recovery. Toxic lands on the Rillaboom. Get some chip damage there. Let's go ahead and set up the rocks now. He's probably gonna want to switch out. He goes for the earthquake. Does some respectable damage. I'm gonna go for rocks here. I'm gonna go into Rillaboom. Anticipating another earthquake. He could also switch out into maybe Noivern. I would like to get in Klefki to set up. Okay, the fact that I went first... Oh, I'm getting a call, but I can't really answer that right now since I'm battling this. It's my friend, so... I'll just have to call him back afterwards. It's funny, because I was putting off this battle for a little while because I had to do so many other things, right? Like, I was expecting someone to come here, and then I was talking to this guy. So, plenty, plenty of things. Alrighty. So he's going to take some damage here from Toxic. Nice solid damage. I'm going to go for the U-turn. I'm running Adamant Nature without speed. I only have like maybe 60 speed EVs on there. But I am Choice Banded. He survives using his Focus Band, which is nice. He's probably going to go for the knockoff again. 
just gonna want to bring in maybe Pharaoh on that. So Pharaoh goes down. That grassy terrain is really gonna help out because we got the ne the leftovers knocked off. Okay, so Neuvern comes in. Oh, I'm getting a call. I'm going to Clefty here. Yo, can I call you back? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well now it works. Yeah, it works now. No, I can. I'm just saying, like, literally right now, I'm kind of, like, doing, like, a video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, like, I'll be free in, like, yeah, when you're here. If you come in, like, 20 minutes? Yeah. That'll be good. Alrighty. Done now. Okay, yeah, I had to take that, because, like, this guy called me twice. So I'm like, hmm, when you call twice... Probably means something. Alright, hurricane accuracy is now reduced. I have the grassy terrain helping heal. I'm going to go ahead and set up another light screen. Yeah, my friend is just gonna come by and drop off something. <clears throat> I need a printer. He has two printers. I'm like, okay. He's just gonna lend me his spare printer. Got some stuff done. Go ahead and set up the screen again. He's probably gonna want to go ahead and set up the uh, rain dance. much as I'd want to thunder wave it hmm kind of do like the idea of spikes here So Ludi Kolo goes ahead and sets up again. I guess I'm just gonna have to go into uh Pharaoh here. Might anticipate the toxic. I could go for a power up and get some chip. the Obstagoon to take it? Nope, Neuvern to take the Toxic, okay. I 
would like to set up more layers of spikes. Hopefully he gets paired this turn. Nope. Super Fang comes in. Super Fang again. Hoping for the Zipera. Two turns is Light Screen. Light Screen could come in handy against this team. So, I don't really know what to think about it. Hmm, but Super Fang is quite annoying. But Gastrodon deals with it. He's locked into it. Hmm. Super Fang. I could take advantage of this, can't I? I probably can, but that Primarina makes it hard. Hmm. What do I think? I could use Pharaoh to. Yeah. I would probably have to use that. So I'd rather save Klefki's screens. I think that's gonna come in handy to help give some bulk to those other mons. Just wanna set up what I can with these ones. Nice, the para is gonna come in handy here. I'm gonna go for the leech seed. Get back some HP. And he is now locked into Super Fang. So I'm now free to go and set up a screen again. Because he's obviously not using anything else. He's not using Hurricane, which has more accuracy and it doesn't cause Super Fang. So he's obviously Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. I don't know why he stayed in though. Nice. Okay, so that dies to rocks next time it comes in. Toxicity comes in, takes some chip damage, nice. I'm going to set up a light screen here. Could still save Klefki, technically speaking. Probably gonna go for the electric move, but... Gastrodon works pretty decently here. Okay, so he goes for the Toxic this turn. Expecting Electric move. It's perfectly fine, so I'm just gonna go for the Yawn. And just start scaring things out. Hopefully Amsta Goon doesn't come in here. Yeah, Ludicolo comes in, that's great. Get some good chip damage off those entry hazards. So now we'll have to switch on out.
Hmm. Well, that thing's going to sleep next turn. Nice. So he stayed in. That's gonna go to sleep. And now we get the U-turn. For switch initiative. He might just bring in his uh, Noivern. Nope. So he's keeping Neuvern in the back, okay. What am I setting up Klefki here and start baiting things out, yeah? Hmm, what to think? What to think? Like, her sheath has some good speed and stuff. Mm, but yeah, I think Klefki's safest. Because we also get some recovery here, which you might need. I'm really trying to bait out that damn Primarina. He hasn't used that yet. He still has that in the back. Toxicity comes in. Okay. Gastron comes in on that. There's a lot of recovery here. Not too fond of that. Do I have any screens up? I have two turns of light screen. We could yawn here. Oh, Primarina comes in. Beautiful. I was worried about the Obstagoon. Primarina gets energy ball, that's four times super effective to me, but I do have light screen up so I could take it. Though I think I'd rather bring in um, Rillaboom and be able to get the Grassy Glide priority. I could even just U-turn in case he pulls a double into um, Rilla, not Rillaboom, um, Obstagoon. I also do have super power, but I wouldn't use that on Primarina, I'm personally just go for Grassy Glide. It's going for Moonblast, good choice, good choice. I could also D-Max. I am faster than this. I only have two turns of screens though, yeah? Well, it is asleep now, so I could go and set up Scolipede perhaps. Banded Grassy Glad does solid damage though. Does solid damage, but what's the point? I could just set up Scallopede and just sweep him. At this point. Hmm. 
I don't even need screens up, bro. This is free. He's asleep. He's asleep. Oof. His, his best bet would be switching out, knowing I'm gonna go for a poison move. So that's almost gonna swords dance on it. Probably gonna bring in Noivern to take the fodder and then get the free switch. Oh no, he stays in. He's hoping for a wake. He could have went for the Dynamax uh, Max Geyser for max damage and max potential to live, but if you Dynamax a sleeping Pokemon, then well, you know. Okay, so we're just gonna use Scolipede here then. I could D Max, but I won't even D Max. So Scolipede is set up and now we have like, what, two layers of spikes and one level of stealth rock. Wish I could have gotten a third layer of spikes up, but it was kind of some misplaying on my behalf when I double switched out of, I switched out of Ferrothorn into Clefkin and had to go back into Pharaoh again for the Drapion, so. Yeah, okay, so Obstagoon gets one-shotted. I can also Dynamax here and just take it out, but the game is over. So, GG. Well played, Vaughn. Oh shit. That would have been a clean clean sweep. So so far out of all the the people I faced, I haven't I haven't lost a single Pokemon yet. Out of the three gym leaders. Which is cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching.